Sword fighting used to mean life or death, but now it generally means Sunday nights in front of the TV. But for some swordsmen, that's just not immersive enough. So it was one of those interests with uh, with you know, Game of Thrones and, and Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder and all those games. Like, maybe I can do this for real. Evan Young, like a lot of the swordsmen here, fell in love with sword fighting through stories and TV. The reason he first picked up a rapier, though, was much more important. About two years ago, I came down type 2 diabetic. And I needed a sport that I was going to be engaged in and interested in that I could continue to do on a regular basis, and this was it. Uh, and I've been fairly uh, active doing this for about two and a half years. Young is down 40 pounds and off meds since he started fencing, so it's clearly a workout. It's a tough art, though, that requires mental focus and discipline. As much as you have a mesh mask on, there's not enough air in the world to, to go through. It's very warm, and you're trying to get air. You have to try and control your breathing, stay focused, uh, learn your opponent's style learn what they're doing, try and counter it, um, and pay attention to your foot placement. Foot placement, that was the toughest part for me when I threw the gear on. Extend, lean, lunge, boom, there we go. Perfect. Yikes. It can take a year or two just to teach your body to stay in your fighting lines, and it can take subsequent years after that to begin mastering the rest of the art. Do it, repeat, repeat, repeat. Every single fight is, uh, is a different fight and it's all it's not choreographed doesn't look like Hollywood fighting you're actually um, competitive the two-day tournament and workshop put on by Valor Hema Academy had money and swords as prizes the training is vigorous but the most important part is to respect the opponent across from you we're not out here to go and bash each other's heads in and whatnot and, and fight in that manner we're here to fight with with respect and honor Vancouver based instructor Devin Borman a world-class fencer at the largest sword fighting school in the world got into the martial art for many of the same reasons others do, but now it's just about living his passion and imparting good health on others. Well, when I was a kid, I loved the Musketeers and Robin Hood and Zorro and, uh, and King Arthur and Arthurian legend and so, you know, a lot of those things I was fascinated with. What I really want to give to people is ways to move really effectively in their bodies to build their overall long-term health, which is just done through this beautiful martial art. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.